on camera. Food has evolved. And some people say it might have evolved too far. Uh, weaponized, shall we say. The same technique that goes in to creating a fantastic dish in a restaurant to make 100 people happy is employed in these laboratories by trained chefs. I mean, they're reaching millions of people. Junk food, I think, gets a pretty bad rap by a lot of, you know, of people in the food world, shall we say, about how it's like, you know, oh, I mean, I, I, how many chefs I know are like, oh, McDonald's? I've never had McDonald's. And you're like, oh, you know what I mean? Like, and if you haven't, you should. You shouldn't have one every day, but there's times that a Big Mac is delicious. It's that whole, you know, health food for the body. And I think that sometimes, you know, the junk food, you need it. And sometimes it's okay. For so many people, these chips, these candies, these things that you find in convenience stores are there to fill not just the hole in your stomach, but to kind of fill that hole in your soul. Where you're just like, I'm just having a bad day and I need myself a f***ing tin of Pringles. And that's just that. <laughs> Junk food, to me, I'm sure you can tell, is like a drug. And people are, you're going to eat it. And are people going to, are, is, are there going to be things to improve them? It, I, I think once you start to improve and make a junk food healthier, it no longer becomes a junk food. And then there's something in your head that goes, nah, that's not what I'm looking for right now. There is food that is designed in laboratories to make people love them. Every flavor is super intense and over the top as far as what your flavoroids are looking for. That perfect crunch. Right? And it's that crunch in the food that speaks to our mind and makes us go, that is delicious. The ability to cook food and the ability to understand food has become more of a specialized niche as opposed to part of everybody's everyday life. And in doing so, it's been replaced with, you know, food on the go. What it comes down to is creating our diets and our food sources so that junk food becomes a option as opposed to a necessity.